Hello and welcome to a quick clip of this thing which I found in the shed. The box was in a lot shabbier condition than this and all I've done is just very crudely repaired the box, pulled, let it to dry out for several days because it was sodden. Um, repaired the box with just some brown parcel tape which seems to have brought back some sort of shape to it. Uh, I've actually plugged in the uh, the little game thing, the little Prince Tronic Tournament box, and it does make some beeping noises. Um, I need to dig out one of my CRTs to actually tune it in, as I did try it on a Sony KDL 403, sorry, KDL 32 EX403. LCD Bravia television, but unfortunately it didn't uh, really want to tune it in properly. So it could be that I even need to replace the coax cable on this, or I might be able to better get a better signal if I try it on a more traditional CRT. So what does it boast? Automatic digital on-screen scoring, electronic sound for added excitement, electronically programmed skill combinations for novice or champion, Variable ball speed, variable bat size, variable angle of ball deflection, solo squash. A special game designed for solo practice at all skill levels. Battery or mains operation. Batteries and adapter extra. We actually do have the extra adapter. Uh, made in the UK and branded Prince Tronic. And it outputs a 8 volts at 100 milliamps. Standard three pin plug games that you can play. We got tennis, football, squash, solo. We've also got an AUX 1 and AUX 2, and there is some AUX connector on the side, so I don't know if you can actually use this to, as a bridge to um, plug something else in, to, say another little console to bridge it through to the television. Professional and amateur for ball speed, you've got your bat size, and we've got the rebound angle, either 40 degrees or 20 degrees. A little inbuilt spirit speaker and the power switch and down the bottom on each corner you have these little roller things which are designed for controlling just basically controlling the bat so I would say player one player two and you've got a standard RF coax connector got our little instruction book and that's what it will well that really upsets the camera that does that's what it will look like on screen Let's see if we've got a date of manufacture at all. Might find it on the back. No, nothing on the back. Let's have a look further inside, see if there's any date of manufacture. Can't see anything. But I would guess either very late 70s to very early 80s. I'd say early 80s judging by the very sort of on vogue for the time font that's used here for the word tournament. So the box itself isn't in the best of shape but it does close up quite nicely. We've got a nice picture on the front. Um, the television set is a Philips G8, which may actually date this after 1972 and before the replacement for the G8, which I forget, G9, G11, G11, I think. So certainly up to from sort of mid 70s onwards, I would guess. Super game of skill works on any VHF television. And there are these. Happy family there. Actually, judging by the fashions, I'd say, and the television, I want to say 1977, 78, so probably 78, 79. My original estimate was probably correct. Let's turn it around and see if there's anything on the other side. Nope. Anything underneath? Nope. Just the base. So, an interesting little thing worth keeping and when I get a bit of time I'll give it another go on a CRT see if it works and there we go 
And that's the end of today's very quick video. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. Just a quick intro into my most recent acquisition. This is a Panasonic NV7200. It is effectively the more fully featured brother of the NV7000. Um, I have an NV7000, although mine is the multi-standard version. So what do you get over the standard 7000? I think the 7000 does have Dolby noise reduction, but you get an infrared remote control, 14-day, 4-program timer, and a couple of other features. I think it's mainly the timer that's the uh, the difference. I think the rest of the deck is actually the same. Oh, you also get the um, digital tuner, which is still controlled by the traditional analog tuner dial input tuning things. So it would appear that it works. However, and bear in mind this is on an LCD, that is the current picture. Sound, however, I'll put it onto a test signal. Sound is unaffected. So I'm not convinced that we have any kind of servo issue. One thing I will try is try this out over the AV inputs of AV outputs into a suitably equipped SCART socket. However, that will be, as I say, the next thing to try. However, I'll need to have a look to see if there are any stock faults with this particular machine and obviously start rectifying those. But it looks like certainly we don't have any sync issues because there's no hunting from the uh, the head drum or anything of that nature. But we do still seem to have that noisy picture issue. It could just be clogged heads. It could be as simple as that. Uh, that would certainly be the first thing that I would try. It certainly doesn't appear to be any problems with sync. Anyway, let's see how this project progresses. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.